I was actually pretty impressed. I mean, it was it was pretty ingenuitive to be honest with you. I, I wasn't even angry that bad. It was, <laughs> like you I was were a nasty. More angry. They wouldn't let me take him home, but you know, no other shit, than that, right? No shit. And that's you know, we never did we never did make any homemade tattoo shit. I just went got I just went got tattoos. But I never had a you, you never seen my shit though, so I mean it's not like it fucking mattered. Um, so I mean, crusty socks and shit. Okay, we already know what the fuck. Okay, dudes are already fucking whacking off. Okay, we get it. <laughs> We get it. You're not in fucking Europe, so you're not fucking well, wearing. We know he's backing it out there. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, man. I mean, you know, somebody might not know crusty socks. Will you just not watch this shit? No, the motherfuckers wagging off. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm just telling you. That's what the fuckers doing. Y'all see, y'all, y'all will understand as as this as this program goes on. Y'all will understand more and more why people in the barracks have a lot of fun and get in a lot of fucking trouble. <laughs> yeah. It, you know, yes. Yep. Garrett's right. He's lucky. He stayed away from the bears. He came in, married, got his, had his house and all that shit. I only had to come down when we screwed up. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I, was, I lived in it for two years, man, and I was out. But it's a little bit different with us, you know, over in Europe. Ghost, you up next, man? You give, give us a little little tidbit of what you got. I'm gonna, Garrett's gonna have to give us. I, I was in the barracks for th- I was in the barracks for three years straight, and it fucking sucked. But there's a lot of stupid shit and a lot of funny shit. Um, <laughs> one night I was working at CQ for company, and <laughs> I think we were just, it was just after we got back from Iraq, and I, I don't know, I guess I still raged out a little bit. And uh, I just happened to walk out in the balcony, or out in the, the front steps of the uh, our unit area, and I hear a bunch of people screaming and yelling, I'm like, okay, what the fuck ever. So I got to check it out, and there's a, a family, you know, they're just kind of shooting the shit with, you know, their son that's, in, you know, a grunt in the service, whatever. But then I look up three stories up on the third floor, and a guy just flops it out and just start pisses. He, he, and <laughs> these people are right below him while he's doing this. They had no fucking clue he was up there. So I had to yell at the fucking bastard. I'm like, dude, get your fucking ass back in the fucking you got a toilet for a reason. Come on. <laughs> That's a fucking American pie story for you right there. Was that the Asian guy that yeah. pisses on fucking Stifler's head because the night he knocked the girl out with a fucking flower pot? <laughs> that was fucking epic. That was fucking epic. All right. Since y'all went soft, I'm gonna, we're going to go ahead and bring fucking graph and beer up in this bitch. All right. So I was in Germany my first go around with the barracks and my only go around with the barracks. Brand new motherfucking barracks at that. I do have to say I was impressed. It looked like a fucking hotel room. Uh, walked in, it was real nice, all that shit, real pretty. And uh, they would tell you, you know, during your first month there, you're in processing. You, you know, in processing in Europe takes a whole hell of a lot longer because they do, they did send us to language classes. Uh, they did send us to driving school. The driving test was a hundred fucking questions long. Jesus Christ, you couldn't do <laughs> shit. You are not allowed to do shit. You cannot go off post or anything like that. You can go drink. You couldn't get anything from the class <laughs> six. You were on lockdown for the first 30 days. After the fifth day, I was like, fuck this. I'm 26 years old. I got two kids. I've been married. I've built fucking billion dollar fucking buildings in downtown Charlotte. I'd be goddamn if I'm going to fucking sit here. So we decided to fucking go take a little skip skip. Once we got away from the barracks, we were fine. Because then it just, I mean, because everybody that would, that would leave to go outside the gate, you know, everybody was in fucking civilian clothes and all that shit. Well, needless to say, this is when I started to realize that when you're around me, it's hard, not hard to miss who you're around. Because I don't, I can't tell my, it, Gary, if you don't know, I'm six foot six, 300 pounds. Yeah, I'm a pretty large guy. I don't see my height unless I'm around other people. Or I see my picture with yeah. other people. So, uh. We get out. We get out to Ed's. You know, I'm being introduced. You know, the people that that snatched us up and, and helped us get out. You know, they're introducing us to mom and all them over at Ed's, low and brow, and all that shit. We got fucking hammered, hammered. I th- I went through a fucking fifth of fucking vodka in my damn self, and so much hefeweizen, man. I I felt bloated. I, I can't do the hefeweizen. It's too thick. I love the taste of it. But it's just too thick. <coughs> So here we come, we come tramping back down the fucking hill at 3.45 in the morning. PT starts at 06. <laughs> Guess uh. who's out fucking front waiting on us? The motherfucking first sign. 
Jesus. <laughs> we're sitting here, we're we're like stumbling running, you know, fucking shit. You know, we're thinking we're good, we're good, we're good. We see somebody there, and that motherfucker just screams, who the fuck you think you running by? Fucking stop. I'm like, oh, damn. He goes, you not think I can't see your big-headed ass fucking walk through them bushes earlier? And I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thanks, I'm the one that got us busted because everybody else was so fucking short. They could sneak through their little cracks and they were fucking watching my big ass white head. I was like, well, I guess I'm about to get written up. I never got written up, surprisingly. I've never been written up in my career. Never. And I, I wonder why the first time I never wrote, never wrote me. He didn't write me or the other two guys up. But we were fucking slammed. You know, he drug our asses. We got <laughs> the shit smoked out of us. We did puke a couple of times, and thank God he'd let us go change shit for fucking PT, but, you know, that's that's just the beginning of it, you know. You ain't even got into the fucking locals coming on base yet. Jesus. Or even making it out to fucking damn, uh, or even making it out to Nuremberg and bringing the Nuremberg bitches back with you. Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, man. All right. So we got, we got some music up on here, man. Uh... We got some Five Finger, we got some Madison, um, I pretty much got anything you want. Um, go into a little little music break real quick, uh, gather up, uh, something you want to hear, you want to hear something hard, you want to hear something country, you want to hear something R&B, you want to hear something from one of the sponsors, what you want to hear, man? You dig it? Oh, my bad, I thought you were asking. <laughs> uh, ah, fuck it, man, let's go something hard. Some hard. All right, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. All right, here comes the opener. Oh, yep, here comes the opener from Operation. I got your six. Here's Kings Hollow. This is the arrow. This is the arrow. 
bit of Kings Hollow, the opener for Operation I Got You 6-2 down here in Greenville, South Carolina. Keep your fingers crossed that we're sitting in fucking Clemson Stadium. <clears throat> we are joined by Ghost <laughs> and Mr. CID, the man himself, Garrett, from the Barracks Lawyers. Uh, to fill the people who are just joining in, Mr. Ron C., uh, avid listener. Uh, everybody's got stories, man. Everybody's got stories about the Barracks, what, what you did, what you didn't get caught doing. Yeah, that's something me and Anthony was talking about when he was like, man, I want to bring this back. Because there's so much shit. He's like, he's already talking, he's got like 30 people ready to come on. And uh, I'm not going to spoil any surprises of what he told me, but there's there's <laughs> some of the shit he's already told me. It's like, yeah, that's that's definitely, definitely going to be fucking people who should be rolling in the goddamn floor. So, you know, Mr. Gary, lucky enough, didn't get to stay in the barracks. But, you know, sometimes... Yo, Germany wasn't bad to stay in the barracks. Just face time. Shitty shit. All right, so we'll jump back. Let Mr. Uh, Mr. Garrett go with his next little uh, next round and see see if he can pump it up. Give us give, give uh, us something well. good, something that just makes something that the whole goddamn company is just like, what the fuck? What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> All right, you gotta have well, one of those. I- Again, like you said before, I, I never stayed in the barracks, but uh, I, I, I'm just going to keep throwing it back to uh, whatever I walked in on a crime scene. So I yeah. guess uh, we uh, we got called on uh, a soldier. We had to we had to go search his his residence off post. Um, so we get up there. We we roll up. Um, we rolled up a little bit deep because uh, we thought he was going to be there, and we knew he had a couple of. Uh, Weapons register his name, so he didn't want to take any chances. Mm. <clears throat> so we get up there and knock on the door. He answers the door. We introduce ourselves. He lets us in, all that. I'm um, not like we really had a choice because we already had a warrant. So we're going to go right. in there one way or the other. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we get in there, and his uh, his platoon leader was actually with us. <laughs> So we go in there. We start we start rummaging through his place. I open up uh, one of the drawers, and there's a uh, there's a pocket pussy sitting in the top of it. <laughs> so, so I open up another drawer. And there's there's another pocket pussy sitting in there. Jesus. So now I'm thinking to myself, like I I honestly don't know what the hell I'm gonna find next. I don't know what I'm gonna <laughs> roll up on next time I open up a drawer or lift up the pillow or whatever. Right. Um. I, there was. There were some dirty socks in this room as well, obviously. <laughs> um, so I, I open up, I go into his closet. It, the, the thing is, he had, uh, it was weird, man, because he's, he's got posters all over his wall. Right. So, it, it, you know, it's like when you walk into a like a 13-year-old girl's room and they've got fucking Justin Bieber's poster on their wall or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, I might have Justin he, Bieber. I have boobs. He's got <laughs> pornography posters all over his walls. Yeah. So when you walk into his room, it looks like a fucking adult video shop. Straight up. <laughs> um, and then, like I said, open up the drawers. His pocket pussies left and right. I go into his closet, and he has got... I had to open up the boxes, because I figured... I didn't know if they were just the boxes. Maybe he had stored something else in them. But he had had... <coughs> he had had about five or six of the uh, I don't even know what they're called if they have an actual term to almost describe them it's basically like the torsos without the legs and without the head oh, um, but they're the they're the adult toys so they've got the the fuck doll pussy, you got the, hat, you got the mouth everything it's kind of it's like, like a, the uh, CPR doll <laughs> yes it's a CPR doll for adults basically <laughs> So, so he had cool. like four or five, six of those. Um, I mean, I had to open them just to see. I had to open them to search anyway. But yeah, they were all in there. Uh, I, I had never even heard of anybody really. I mean, I knew they sold them. I knew they made them. I just never even heard of anybody buying them. Nevertheless, multiple ones of them. 
And it sounded like the guy was actually trying to, you know, trying to make maybe maybe make some money off some.